Well, since we're smack dab in the middle of an election season, what does God expect from you? Hey friends, this is Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always love to connect with you midweek. Hope you're enjoying this nice fall week. Hope you know we love you and we're praying for you. That question for you again, since we are smack dab in the middle of an election season, what do you think God requires of you? What does he expect from you? Well, friends, there's a great book in the Old Testament that most people don't read all that often. It's one of the biggest books in the Bible. It's a book called Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a prophet. What that means is, He heard something from God and shared it with other people. That's all a prophet is. A prophet simply receives something from God and shares it with other people. You've got to both receive and share to be a prophet, and that's what Jeremiah did. Jeremiah was one of the longest living prophets we have in the Bible. He prophesied or spoke for over 40 years. That was a total of five kings who served as the leaders of Israel while he was a, while he was a prophet. So he was kind of like a, a, an old time Billy Graham or something there. And at the end of Jeremiah's time, God gave him a pretty powerful lesson. You see, Israel had been under some attack by a nation called Babylon, and Babylon was the bully on the block, and eventually Babylon just attacked Israel and wiped them off the map. And everyone in Israel, including Jeremiah, was carted off to Babylon and was forced to live in the city. Imagine people in Ukraine today being carried off into Russia and being forced to live in Moscow. Same scenario. And people were saying of Jeremiah, well, Jeremiah, you're this really smart prophet. What are we supposed to do now? Do you have something from God for us now? And Jeremiah's response must have really shocked them. And I know they didn't like it a whole lot. Jeremiah's response was, well, maybe you should build a house and plant a garden. And you should probably find spouses for your kids so they can get married and have families. And oh, don't forget, I want you to pray over the city. Now, I'm sure there were people saying, well, Jeremiah, don't you want us to rise up and attack this evil uh, administration or something? And Jeremiah's response was, no, no, you're going to be there for a while. You might as well settle in, work towards the peace and prosperity of the city. Those are the two words he used. Work towards the peace and prosperity of that city because then you'll benefit from it. And oh, by the way, never stop praying over this city. Now imagine a Ukrainian today being forced to live in Moscow and the response you give to them is, hey, don't forget to pray for the leaders of Moscow. I think they'd have a really difficult time doing that, but that's exactly what Jeremiah said to do. And I think there's a really good lesson for people like us in an election season. Because here's what I know. A lot of people right now, whenever we have elections, they get pretty worked up. And they're following along with their favorite candidates. They believe their candidate's the right candidate. Their cause is the right cause. Their party is the right party. They follow along through all the proposals. They're watching to see who gets put in which positions in which house, Senate, all that kind of stuff. And they get pretty anxious about it, worried, maybe even a little upset. Here's what God says to do over that. God says, I want you praying because you're in that city, you're in that time, you're in that community. God says, I put you there. I want you to work towards the peace of that city, the world that we live in. And then God says, have you remembered to pray lately? Because here's something I know. Whenever I feel a little bit anxious or worried or stressed by the world we live in, whenever I give it to the Lord, I suddenly lose all that stress and anxiety. So God says, if there's anything that I want my people doing in these days, other than voting, of course, is I want my people praying. Friends, have you prayed about this yet? Go ahead and cast your ballot, but don't ever forget to pray because that's the God side of living in these days. I hope that's helpful for you. It certainly is helpful for me to keep that word of Jeremiah in mind. Hope you have a wonderful week. Hope you're taking care of yourself. Know that we love you and we're praying for you. God bless. Bye-bye.